What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. We're doing Mustang stuff still. I mean, I'm saying it every week now, but we're doing it. We're getting it done. So, I got some stuff to show you and we got we got lots to do in this video. It might even stretch on for a couple of days. So, let me show you first the first thing we got to do for the car, but it all has to do with the fuel system. What we're going to be doing is test fitting the new fuel tank, mounting all the stuff inside the fuel tank, making sure everything's fat and happy. Then the video after, we'll be hooking up the lines and we'll be done. So we're, we're like two videos away from being done, which is insane. Like I said, I got some stuff to show you. So let me show you. We got a gas tank. Let me tell you why. Because we went to the junkyard, right? And we got our pieces, but... So this guy right here, this canister valve or whatever, I broke like three of them. So we just got a tank and we're going to go for it best we can. <laughs> See what we can do, to be totally honest with you. It's kind of iffy, but yeah, I got my heat gun. I've been soaking this thing in WD-40, but we got to get these two blue valves and canisters out. And then on the bright side, I'm going to rip off this padding and put it on the new tank too. And there's just a couple of good things about having the tank. So real quick on why we need these canisters. So I read a ton of forums, probably even link the forums so you guys can know what I'm talking about. So to delete the PCV system on one of these newer Mustangs, the way you do it is there's a little K right here, a K fitting. So this vents to atmosphere. So we're gonna delete that. But this will vent to atmosphere. This will go to my filler neck. And then these two will be popped in the tank and just do what they do. They, they both have the rollover valve function, so if I ever flip over, it'll um, it'll be protected and we won't worry about not passing NHRA law, we won't burn to death, all that kind of good stuff. Because you know, burning to death in a horrible fiery car accident I think is like the down low on the ways I want to die. I mean, it, it definitely down on the bottom of the list. All right, so like I said in the beginning of this, I've broken two of these already. So at the junkyard, but this time I have soaked it in WD-40 and I have a heat gun. I have more tools and patience. So if I can't get it out within 20 to 30 minutes, I'm going to cut it out. I'm just gonna cut a hole around it and then notch the uh, metal off of it because I'm not playing this game. So I'm just not doing it. I'm just not gonna happen. I just thought I'd tell you real quick before we get started in this. <laughs> broke a piece of it. We're cutting it out. <laughs> oh. My. God. I got it off. I'll show you the hole in the gas tank first. And then I'll show you what I had to do to make it all work. But that was rough. Alright, like you saw, I did cut that big hole in the gas tank to get it out. And... Yeah, so we did that. Like I said, there's no gas in there or nothing. It's been drained for a long time. Um, so yeah, that worked out good. So then, after I got it out, I got this big chunk of metal around the vapor valve. So, if you can see that, see how there's a ridge in there? That ridge made it extremely hard to get to that vapor valve. Because um, after I cut it, you can't get the... the can't get this bad boy in there. It's like near impossible to do it. So I cut it like at an angle and was able to peel it open. That's why we have this like donut looking thing going on. But then, so I cut it at an angle, got a one cut in it and then I started peeling it off and I got it. So now we got our vapor valves and they have, oh wait, I'll show you in a second, but it's the main reason we did it. Here, listen to the, the sound. This is all what we came here for. The rollover part of this thing. So it keeps the stock Ford rollover valve in it and the gas tank can vent properly so we're good to go. And then see I broke the top of it but we're gonna glue it back together and it doesn't really affect the integrity of it at all so we're just gonna glue it back together, call it a day. I mean, that's all it is right there. I don't know how Ford, so there's this giant lip right here and that's what's preventing it from coming out. But good night, that was horrible. It was so hard 
to get that thing out. You couldn't do it. You just couldn't do it. But we're gonna wash them first in some gas and clean them all up so they're ready to go in the car. Man, that was tough. Holy crap, it's bright out today. <laughs> all right, so we cleaned a bunch of stuff up and now we're gonna clean out the gas tank, make sure it's all ready to go so we can drop it in. So we're gonna just, when I say clean it out, we're just gonna pop some fuel into the gas tank, slosh it around, make sure it's all good to go and then install the fuel hat. But let me show you the things I cleaned. I cleaned the vapor valves and then I cleaned, what else did I clean? I cleaned something. Oh, the filler neck, so here. All right, so vapor valves are all nice and clean now. I mean, they're really great. We got that thing going on, and then we got our, uh, what's this thing called? And it's it's something. I know it's something, but hi! The fuel tank, filler neck, grommet thing. Got that. And then we clean up the filler neck. So we're not going too crazy on it because we have to cut the filler neck and put that tubing on to make it all fit right. But when I bought that tubing, the filler neck tubing, I got inch and a half, that is barely an inch. So I gotta get a new filler neck tube, which we got some stuff, cause we're going over to um, AutoZone today, just cause we got some stuff to buy. Oh wow, that didn't sound good. The filler tube neck, filler neck tube, god dang, that's kinda hard to say, is um, way too big, so we're gonna go check AutoZone and make sure we can get that as well. And then, we're, we're gonna do something, I promise you. <laughs> Let's clean out that gas tank and start making headway on this. I spend my Mondays like Fridays, I spend my Fridays in a box, to my heart and my whining. I put my pinings on pedestals to the keep when I'm grounded. What's that mountain to nothing? Let's make some something from nada. Let's go to Gucci and Prada. So, the other thing I forgot is with the fuel hat is there's where the wires come out there's a bunch of little holes and so a lot of guys epoxy the holes so nothing can get through but i might want to run a third pump one day i don't know i just might so epoxying it just doesn't seem like the greatest idea in the world to me i mean I, it's just me so i don't know what i'm gonna do yet to be totally honest with you but we're gonna get a rough mock-up with the the hat in the tank and then we're gonna see if it'll fit so Let's just get that done real fast. <laughs> we some sung birds who made our way out of the cage. We all some dumb nerds. Probably should get to act in our age. But where's the fun in that? We going fishing for dreams and kept intact. Skipping plans, playing hooky on school days. You make your place in the world. Don't let them try to tell you otherwise. This is it. Life's like a party out with Pennywise. That's a stroke of my ego out the tip of a fountain. Pen me in. Swear to God, I love a box break out of... Come around the mountain, I'ma run straight through it. This be some grave you with music like a budget be cooler than buy it out when the economy fruitless and the ecosystem nervous like a school full of shooters. All right, so we tested the fuel tank in a hit. I mean, what's new? <laughs> so the hat is hitting the bottom of the, where, wherever you mount the tire. I don't know where it's hitting. That's why I can't show you because there's like no space in there, but it is hitting. Got to figure that out. Um, I have a couple ideas, I think. I'm gonna, well, I don't know. You know what, I am I have an idea, but I don't know if it's gonna work or not. And the idea, one of the ideas is SN95 fuel straps, because I think they're bigger. So that's one of the things. The other thing is get, um, cause I don't want to beat on that thing. I'm not, I'm not all about beating on it. I'm a couple hits here and there, a massage, a massage, like a legit massage. That's okay, just a couple taps, but it looks more like I'm gonna have to do something. So. Either that or I get a really long bolt and like a spacer because that thing is snug up in there. It's not going anywhere. The whole tank is bigger than my old tank. So I got to do something. So I'm thinking about getting like a half inch spacer or one inch spacer and uh, with the strap and then tightening down onto the spacer. I think that's the way I'm going to do it. I'm not sure yet. That might be a bad idea. I don't know yet. I'm, I got to test some stuff out. So, but that's what's going on if you're wondering. So. I am actually gonna go to AutoZone right now and get a bunch of parts that I need because I need them. Um, so yeah, we got a lot of stuff to do. We're gonna continue this thing tomorrow and on that, I will see you guys then. We're back and again, so two days later, not the next day. There's something always happens. So we spent yesterday just getting parts, like a ton of just little goodies and little extra stuff that we needed. So let me just give you the tour of all the junk that I had to get. So. First off is um, we got two part epoxy and I fixed see this little guy you could probably see yeah okay so you can see that the crack I epoxied it back together and it's fixed so the vapor valves are fixed and that's looking good so then remember so you can see that just a little nick in the 
in that gasket. So I wanted to figure out the best way to do it because they don't make this gasket anymore. It's like 40, 50 bucks from Ford. I ain't spending 50 bucks on this when it's not even broken. So I got two kinds. I got this Permatex gasket dressing and sealant. So it's perma shields, fuel resistant. All this stuff's fuel resistant, so I went, tried so hard. And I got Moto Seal gasket maker. So I don't think we're gonna use the Moto Seal for this. We're gonna use this gasket dressing. So we're gonna put the dressing around this bad boy and in the inside of it, and then pop it in the tank. So that's how we're gonna do that, and it it's gonna work. It's gonna work good. So then we got. So we have to cut the filler neck, and we gotta put a hose on it to do it. So. I couldn't find the hose online. I tried for hours and hours and hours, so I got a one and a half inch hose and it didn't fit at all. So I um, started Googling, you know, so O'Reilly's, or uh, no, it's O'Reilly. So O'Reilly's sells apart FNH056, but it's a filler tube hose for, it's like the E150 and a couple other different kinds of trucks and Ford vans and stuff. And it's for flex fuel. So it sh it'll be fine. So it stand up to E85 and everything. So we only needed like six inches and that's about what we got is six inches. So we're gonna use that to cut the filler neck in half and slap this bad boy on there. So that was another good thing. And then another, another thing. So to be able to vent the gas tank, we got all the hoses we need or to the vapor valves, to the filler necks, to all the other stuff so we can actually vent. So we got that. There's just another thing in my shoe. Okay, and so then another thing is LMR wants 70 bucks or something for the padding for the fuel tank. We ain't spending 70 bucks on that stuff. So what I went and did is I got some pipe insulation from Home Depot and the rubber stuff. It's the same stuff that goes on the tank. And we're just going to stretch it out and put it on the thing with some double-sided tape and slap that on the tank so we can have some uh, actual cushioning on the tank. So I have the original one and... The side lot as you saw that we took the vapor valve out of so I'm just gonna replicate that cut this thing to size and put it on the tank so there's that too good so we got that all figured out and then so when I was saying I was gonna do all this stuff because the gas tank didn't fit and I tried some stuff last night and I just couldn't get it to fit right it just wouldn't happen in so what I did the metal right where the spare tire goes is um it hangs a little low and it's hitting it's kind of hitting the top hat, but it's more, more importantly, it's hitting where the um, the two lines come out. It's hitting the fittings for it. So what you got to do is you got to, it needs to be hit a little bit. I tried some other ways to make it work, but at the end of the day, it just needs to, there needs to be some more room. So um, we're going to hit it with the hammer a little bit and just, just a little bit, try to not hurt it too much. I've seen some guys just beat the crap out of it, but we're just going to try to tap it up a little bit and make it fit the best to our ability. First thing we're going to do is actually put the new or make the new padding for the tank. Okay, so that's what we're recreating. I got a bunch of pieces cut already and so we're gonna transfer it over to the new tank. I already did that little piece, but so just double-sided tape and we're gonna stretch these things out. Hopefully it works out. I think it will. I mean, why wouldn't it, right? So it's padded up. It might not be the prettiest thing in the world, but it'll get the job done. I mean, you know what I mean? Who cares what it looks like? It's gonna get stuck up under there, but it's padded. It won't make a ton of noise. So I'm pretty happy about that. So now we're gonna do a little massaging down in there and make sure everything works together, test fit it one last time, call it done, put our vapor valves in, and uh, fill that hole up. The padding works. <laughs> I fadangled with it for a, a while just to get it right so I could know it was right in my head and be happy with it. So, let me tell you about it. <laughs> um, all right, so we got the tank up in there. I, it fit there was no rubbing issues the padding makes it massive difference but i did hit on it a couple more times just to flow it out and this is probably my weirdness coming out so i didn't want it to look like i just caved in a hole in my sheet metal on the bottom so look what i did so you can see where i hit it obviously so this is where i hit it um the only things i couldn't get out are these little pinches right here but so you have these little notches all on the corner so what I try to do to my best is make this smooth all the way to here I might even hit that a couple more times but I tried to smooth this notch all the way to this notch and just try to make it look like it was kind of stock even though it's not perfect at all but you can't really tell no one's gonna see it but in my head it's gonna look nice I'm gonna hit that a couple more times it's bugging me but I tried to make this all smooth and make it flow and it looks like it came out pretty good. So let me show you the bottom. So that's like where it was hitting right there. And I just beat 
on it as you can tell but it doesn't look too bad down here and there's room where it needs to be so it it worked out good so that's if you're doing it I just from this notch over I smoothed this out and then I just beat up how much I needed room for and it worked out so we have room for the tank and no rubbing issues at all so this is good to go we're done with it it fits all right <laughs> so what we got to do is we got to pull the fuel hat back out and then fill up this hole with that um, moto seal and then we'll be done with that and um, yeah so we're gonna do that but first let's get these vapor valves in it's just bugging me that they're not in already so let's put the vapor valves in so we got our gaskets and our gasket sealer. So we're gonna put the gasket in first and then pop the vapor valves into the gasket. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put our um, gasket dressing sealant on this bad boy. And then we're gonna pop it in and go to town on it. Oh my God. Accidente, maybe. Could have done this differently. God dang, stuff gets everywhere. Pop it in. See if we can do better. Yeah, baby. Wonder if all my bad decisions get accounted in the algorithms. No statistician could dissuade me from my bigger vision. I know my occupation's quite an unlikely place in this world to occupy and talk about upon a daily basis. Our information is predetermined by some biased business. We all in sermon to silicon that push up lovely neighbors. I'm done with paper chasing, think I'm on the bigger banquets. This that full circle, new wave, energy on a Tuesday. Turn a blue day to a bright hue, yellow with a smooth day in here. Extra fruit, the brand you can't move me. The music is made. It's a con job, but it's grand. That was so hard. <laughs> All right, let's take the fuel hat back out. I've been thinking long and hard about how to plug up the holes in this thing for the little top hat part. So what I think I'm gonna do is, maybe set down correctly, is I'm gonna take a bogus wire. This wire is not gonna go anywhere. I'm gonna stick it through, like through a loop, and then I'm gonna just like tie it together somehow, and then put this fuel resistant um, Moto Seal gasket maker, Permatex, and just sprinkle it in the hole. And then if I ever want to do the triple pump thing, I can dig that stuff out, pull these out, and um, be done with it. So that's what we're going to do, and that's that seems like the best course of action. So, let's get to it. We're going to use the green wire. Because nothing else is green, so I'll know. Don't use this one. All right, so this is the end result. So I wrapped it with some electrical tape and then I put some heat shrink over it. And it's just, it's a nothing wire. So look at what I did. So there it is down in the bottom. Just so the RTV has a better seal. It's not just plugging up holes. I just, I don't know, just OCD. And you'll never see it because I'll just loom it together with everything. Well, that's good. So we're going to clean everything out. And stick our gasket maker in there. Well, I tried to do the uh, epoxy, not epoxy, the whatchamacallit, I don't know. I tried to do the thing with RTV that's not RTV, the moto seal. I tried to use the moto seal. And then I was like, well, you know what, before I do this, because I can't move the pumps after this, it's, it's set in stone. So like, why don't I just check the depth? I'm like, see how close the sock is to the bottom. So the sock was, it's like an eighth of an inch all the way around, but since that tank actually isn't flush, four sides are... Um, uh, like an inch and an eighth and then the one side are six inches and an eighth and then the one side is like six inches and a sixteenth or it's more I don't know something it came out to be that there was only a sixteenth of an inch on one side and I was like oh that doesn't sound too good let me shorten up these hoses just a little like a sixteenth and put them down so upon doing that I found out that the thing or the pumps were already maxed out on the little nozzles <laughs> Like, so the nozzles extend down from the hose, these guys, and then they 
the pump goes right on top of it, and so they are actually touching. They're right on top of each other. And I didn't know that, so I cut those things, and now it was like an eighth of an inch too much exposed. So I was like, oh crap, now that I'll just cut some new line out of my return line, and then I'll get more return line later, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I did that, and it just... It didn't fit quite right. I measured an eighth more, and I put it on, and it was an eighth short. And I, So I don't know what I did. I did something wrong. I don't know what it was yet. So we're just going to call it because I hurt my brain too much, and I, we'll, we'll continue this later, and then we'll cut up the fill, fill, filler neck hose. But since I'm making mistakes, I don't want to make more just mistakes. So I'm going to take it easy and chill out for the rest of the night because that would make me crazy. <laughs> oh, and there's another thing. So I guess in the tank... I had the socks of these fuel pumps. I had them like this one was pointed this way and this one was pointed this way. After I pulled it out of the pump, this was like this. And I was like, or well, after I pulled this out of the tank, it was bent over like this. And I was like, why would that happen? So I looked in the tank and actually for the baffled tank, there's a tube and it was resting on the tube and it was bent up like that. So I flipped, I flipped it to the way it is now and this should work. So that was good. I'm glad I took it out of the tank to find that out. And then, so you see that? It's like nicked, right? All right, and you see that? It's bent down. So, I get, didn't realize it, but that fitting is totally hitting this part of the, the tank. So, we're gonna chisel that down a little bit and make it work, cause that's just not okay. <laughs> so if I don't fix that, we won't get a good seal, and you, you know the rest. So we're gonna, I'm gonna just um, buzz that out real quick and then I'll call it today, but yeah. I'm glad I took it out and find, found all these problems. I chiseled out that thing, so I didn't actually cut it. I took a chisel and pounded it in, so it should work. So that right there, I just knocked it out of the way. So now it should, it should all fit together and should work out pretty good. So yeah, that sucked. But that is going to end today's video. I, I, you know what, I could keep going on, but I'm, it, yeah. I'm gonna make a mistake and then I'm gonna make myself upset and then I'm gonna go back three steps forward to I won't go through it <laughs> so we're just gonna call it at that um, if you like this video make sure you like comment subscribe and when we do all the fuel lines we'll get the hose done we'll get all the lines hooked up and ready to go everything vented with the lines right and the filler neck will be done that's so that'll probably be the next thing we do so on that I will see you guys on the next video I spend my Mondays like Fridays, I spend my Fridays in a box In my heart I'm not whining, I put my pinings on pedestals To the keep when I'm grounded, what's that amount to nothing? Let's make some something from nada, let's go to Gucci and Prada Set the buildings on fire, screaming death to designer While we listen to Ponda, 